this year sees another edition of the world's biggest offshore race, the Rolex Fastnet race, get underway. At least it will come August. But it would seem there are some who just can't wait to scorch around the 600 mile racetrack. In particular, Peter Cunningham and his crew of rock stars aboard the Mod 70 Powerplay. Well, we're going to try a couple of records today. We're going to try the Round the Isle of Wight, so see if we can get under two hours and then uh, go straight into the fast net, see if we can do it in uh, under 24 hours. Kind of ambitious, but uh, the wind's right, the water's flat, the team are all ready to go, and um, it should be a lot of fun. Really? Except it could be 20 degrees warmer. That would be fantastic, that would be perfect. Okay, stand by, coming up. Stand by. No! 12.38. With the Easter forecast showing a northerly breeze that would set in for several days, they set off to see if they could set a new record on this famous course. The northerly breeze meant that it looked possible to get out to the rock and back on a reach. Their slingshot start out of the Solent looked good. After a wild night crossing the Celtic Sea and back, they crossed the finishing line off Plymouth Breakwater 25 hours and 4 minutes after leaving Cowes. A staggering achievement. Three, two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, two, About um, <laughs> three o'clock in the morning, we went around the rock and then, yes, yeah, straight down to the Sillies. We're at the Sillies by 9 a.m. That was quick, rock to sillies. The first two hours were slow in the lee of Ireland, and then it was just, yeah, hammered down. Really fantastic. That really was incredible. The guys did an amazing job. And, um, you know, last night when it was like minus 10 degrees, wind chill factor, vicious seas in the Irish Sea, blowing 20 knots, doing 25 knots, five people being sick already. And I'm about to. <laughs> it was fantastic, unbelievable. They did a great, great job. An incredible team. The fastest lap of the course during a race was set by the 131 foot trimaran Bank Populaire, who finished the race in just under 33 hours. This year sees a change to the fastnet course, with the finish in Sherburne, making it 90 miles longer which at Powerplay's pace will be just four more hours. That's barely a watch.